Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new rune system that's coming out in next season, in season 8, the runes reforged. Uh, so from this video, hopefully you guys should be able to better understand what the runes do, the whole process, what's going down, because the current rune system plus masteries, they're both going and they're becoming what you're going to be seeing today. But also I want to give you some example rune pages and my thoughts on the runes from a jungle perspective. So if you want to learn about the runes, this is a good place. If you want to learn about the runes for junglers, this is also a good place. But I will put a link down below in the description uh, so you can take a look at this yourself so you can read things in more detail because I'm not going to go over everything, every little thing and just read it all out to you because uh, that, would, that would be kind of boring. So uh, first thing to say, the new rune system, new runes plus mastery system, runes reforged, you have five different trees now. Precision, Domination, Sorcery, Resolve, and Inspiration. You get to choose a keystone. Each, each of these trees has three keystones. You get to choose one of them. And they also have uh, nine. I think it's nine. Maybe it's slightly more. They have, they have greater runes as well. And you get to choose a bunch uh, from that as well. So you'll have like, choose one of three keystones, then choose one of three... Yeah, it's nine. Choose one of three greater runes, and then choose another greater rune out of three, then choose another greater rune out of three. And that would be your main tree, your main rune tree. I'll give you an example if you scroll down here. So let's say we want to do precision. These are your keystones. We'll take this keystone. Now we have these options here for greater runes. Uh, I'll take this one, and then we've got another option. I'll take this one, and then we've got another option. I'll take this one. That's your main tree. And then you get to dip into the other trees that you haven't touched yet. You get a little bit of a bonus stats as well, as you can see here. This one right here is giving me 12% attack speed if I combine precision plus domination. Same for sorcery, same for resolve, but a little bit more for inspiration. Uh, and then I get to dip into these trees. I don't get access to the keystones, but I do get access to their greater runes. And then I get to choose two out of the nine. Not getting three out of the nine, just two out of the nine. So I can choose this one, I can choose that one. Boom, that's my rune page sorted. So that's how the runes work. I want to run down now really quickly uh, what the different trees actually do. What this precision, domination, sorcery, resolve, inspiration, what they're... Uh, you know what what benefits they'll give you and what they're aimed uh, aimed at what kind of champions they're aimed at so firstly the precision tree uh, for a jungle perspective i think this is the worst tree you're not really going to get much benefit out of this this one's more geared towards ad carries and attack carries or using auto attacks i guess uh, carries so the keystones have one that you do uh, the more you're hitting something, the more damage you do to it. Another one that gives you an attack speed steroid. Another one that works very similar to Blood uh, Warlord's Bloodlust right now. Now, but the first thing I should say before I get into any detail here is I feel like you should choose your primary tree. Holy crap, I'm struggling to speak English. Choose your primary tree based off of the keystone specifically. So yes, you get access to more greater runes from your primary tree. But I do not think that getting more greater runes is better than getting the perfect keystone for you. <clears throat> so, none of these keystones are really that good for junglers in general. Thinking of Elise Sin, thinking of Elise, Jarvan, Gragas, Zach, Sejuani, whatever. They're not really going to use any of these. So the precision tree, good for AD carries. If you're an AD carry player, check the link in the description. Read this stuff for yourself because I'm going to skip past this more or less. Because, uh, you know, you don't really want to worry too much about this one at least. Uh, at least for your primary tree uh, when it comes to jungling. Domination, however... Domination, in my opinion, is uh, probably the best jungle tree, I would say. So Domination has something that's very similar to Thunderlords. It's called Electrocute, where it's basically the same as Thunderlords, except uh, you have to do three unique things instead of just three hits. So that's fine for people like Elise, people like Lee Sin, who use Thunderlords and, you know, can proc Thunderlords uh, with three unique things. But for people like Jarvan, for example, who take Thunderlords... Um, but sometimes rely on just their auto attacks hitting three times if they've missed their EQ combo. If you miss your EQ combo and you've got Electrocute on Jarvan, you, you can't proc this. You physically cannot proc this, especially before level six. So a little bit different, but basically is what Thunderlords is. Now, then you've got this Predator keystone, which is really interesting. This one gives changes your boots into an active item, and it has a three minute cooldown, which is really long, so bear that in mind. But essentially you get like a, a mini ghost. Uh, and then when you first whack something, you do extra damage to it. So it's really nice for ganking junglers in general. But it's especially nice for champions who don't have 
uh, gap closes in their kit. So people, I mean, people like Hecarim's a gr Hecarim is a great example for someone who I, I would think this is a great keystone on, uh, but he already runs Ghost, right? But essentially, if you're if you're a ganking jungler, even like Lee Sin, you could use this as well. Um, it, it, I don't think you go wrong with taking this, but do you know what I mean? Like it's better for people who don't have gap closes because it gives you move speed, right? Now moving on to, uh, I, I, I'll show you the greater runes actually as well because these greater runes are, are pretty good still. Uh, you have these like zombie ward and, and ghost porro things. So the, the, this first this first row here is is really interesting but pretty cool. This zombie ward, when you kill an enemy ward, you replace it with your own little ward. I'm not entirely sure if this is like a blue blue trinket ward or whether it's like a standard ward. I know it's visible, so it's like a blue trinket from that perspective. But I'm talking more from the situation like okay. You know, can I ward hop to this thing? Because you can't do that with blue trinkets. And I'm, I'm going to guess that it's going to be basically like when you kill an enemy ward, you put a blue trinket down. That's my assumption. This ghost poro, when you enter a bush, you can stick a little ward down. Uh, but then it runs away when, when someone sees it. Uh, and this one here is eyeball collection. Basically, when you kill things, uh, you get stacking, increased armor, uh, attack damage, and ability power. So all of these are pretty good in my opinion, especially these first two. This one is, is essentially like the double-edged sword, uh, except you don't take extra damage, but uh, cheap shot here. This whole row is basically like this cheap shot. You do more damage to stun people, a taste of blood, you heal from the damage you do, and sudden impact when you've used a, a gap closer, uh, you do bonus damage for, for a short time. And this last tree here, uh, unique kills on champions give you benefits. So this one gives you move speed, uh, this one gives you active item CDR, and this one gives you healing. So all in all, if you're aggressive, if you're like a gank jungler, you will most likely want to take this domination page. Now, I will be giving example rune pages at the end of this, by the way. So I'm just going to run down it really quickly for you guys. But I will be going into specific examples for specific champions later on. Uh, and you'll see which ones uh, I would recommend for, for different things. So sorcery here. Uh, this one is very much just like uh, the mage tree. There's only one keys on here that I would recommend if you're playing jungle, that is Phase Rush. It's essentially like the Thunder Lords, except once you proc it, you get a bunch of move speed. Uh, however, the greater runes here are kind of hit and miss, and I think they're pretty good to go in a secondary slot. So I, I don't know whether or not you would... like By itself, this Phase Rush is fine, but I don't know whether you'd ever take it over the Electrocute, for example. Maybe you would, but, uh, you know, I don't know. It's... It's it, it's there, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be anything that you would take over something else. Uh, the greater runes here. This one's kind of nice. Nullifying orb when you're low on health. You say, it's like, basically like a mini hex drinker. I think that's kind of cool. Ultimate hat reduces your ultimate's cooldown. Uh, stacking by for every time that you use it as well, which is quite nice. I think for like late game people who are very ultimate reliant. Uh, and then you have CDR here, you have extra damage here as well, a bit of extra damage as well, and, and, and some scaling stats. So these greater runes, in my opinion, are pretty solid. Like, you'll see later on, but I think these are, these are very good for your secondary uh, secondary choices, maybe not for the keystone itself. Resolve here, this is for tanks, but I don't think this is a very good tree for junglers. Uh, this is Grassy on Dying, which essentially does the same thing that it does right now. Guardian here, you right-click your ally and you can shield them. I'm not really sure if that's great for junglers. I think it has potential for junglers, especially in a meta like right now, where you're just a tanky person who's the AD carries bitch. It could work, but I, I don't, you know, you, I'm not really sold on it. And this Aftershock, I think, is really good, actually. Uh, when you immobilize an enemy champion, you get tankier. And then after a little while, you do damage around you. So it's kind of like Courage of the Colossus in, in a sense. Uh, but you also do damage and you, you don't get a massive shield. Uh, however, this only works after you've immobilized someone. So I, I looked this up and there is no indication that this works off of stuns or anything like that. If you're someone like Maokai or Nautilus, this is a really good keystone. But anyone else... If this worked off of stuns, I'd say take this on like every tank jungler. Uh, but I don't think that works off of stuns. If it did, it would probably just say after you stun someone. It's very specific language, which makes me think it doesn't work off of stuns. And these greater runes here, uh, I think some of these are awful. Uh, most of these actually are awful from a jungle perspective. But there are there's one here, this one, Demolish, which I think is really interesting. Charge up a powerful attack against the tower over four seconds. So just like a, a four second wind up 
and then when you're closer to the tower, you smack it and do a crap ton of damage, like 400 bait, 375 base, plus 20% of your max health, not even bonus health, just max health. That is, a with a one minute cooldown, you could just turn up to a lane and, and do this as, ch as poke damage onto the tower, you know, that's a crap ton of damage. I think that's really good, and you could take that on any jungler, not just a tank jungler, because that's how good I think that is. All of these are, in my opinion, are rubbish for a jungler's perspective. Second Wind is, is okay, though. After taking damage from an enemy champion, you heal for some of your missing health. It's okay, but it's nothing special. Last three here, Inspiration. Now, this one is a weird one. There's only two keystones that have been released here. Um, it, it's just interesting. So, so this Glacial Augment, I think, has definitely got potential for a jungle keystone. Uh, essentially, when you initiate a play on someone, you slow them. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you've got the Summoner Specialist, where uh, every so often in the game you can change out your Summoner spell. Now I think that has potential if you want to go like Smite Ignite to cheese someone in the early game, then later on swap it out to Flash. Or if in the late game you want to swap out your Smite for something like a, like a Combat Summoner or something like that. That has potential. Uh, but these Greater Runes, I think, leave a lot to be desired for a jungler at least. Uh, this first row is rubbish even like this is the only one which you can even use as a jungler really hex check hexic flash traption when your flash is on cooldown you can channel two and a half seconds and jump over a wall it's essentially like a blast cone that's how useful this thing is it's essentially like a blast cone uh these ones aren't great this one you have to wait 10 minutes and you get like a special special pair of boots but Waiting 10 minutes for boots as jungler, I'm not sure. Maybe that'll be okay, but I don't know. These ones are all right. You just get some stats, but, you know, not really nothing special. So, uh, those, that's kind of just like the rundown of the, of the pages. I know it's not a lot of detail, but like I say, check the link in the description if you want to look it out uh, in detail for your... Bloody hell, Shaddy. You yawning, dog. You sleep, eh? All right. You'll have time to sleep in a bit, Shad. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Hopefully, I'm not boring you guys. So, let's take a look at the specific room pages that I would recommend for... Uh, for your different jungle champions. So like I say, you should choose your, your these rune pages primarily off of the keystones. Uh, and also, I mentioned that you can get like bonus stats from combining, like if I went sorcery plus domination, I get 15 bonus AP and 10 AD, uh, and it kind of changes here, you can see. Uh, on, but I, I don't think you really need to bear that in mind when you're choosing your runes. I feel like that's a secondary, or like a, not even a secondary thing, like a bottom of the barrel thing in there. That may as well not exist as far as you deciding what it is you want to choose, in my opinion. So, first things first, a least in page would look uh, something like this. Maybe like this one here, this nullifying orb uh, is situational, but well, we should start with the uh, first one. So the electrocute, basically like Thunderlords, Pretty no-brainer. I think the zombie ward is, is is decent here, but you could go for any of these, honestly. Um, but that's cool. Sudden impact, you do extra damage when you've come out of a of a leap. It's like your Q, your W, your whatever. And then this Relentless Hunter, uh, getting unique kills onto champions. You get bonus uh, out of combat move speed, like Moby Boots. Great for junglers. And now on your secondary, I quite like the Sorcery Tree for secondary. Uh, if you're against magic damage, I think the Nullifying Orb is really nice. Uh, but not if, you, if you're not, then you can just go for this one, Scorch, which is like a really small... It's like Deathfire Touch, I guess, is a good, uh, a good uh, comparison. Uh, but it seems to be slightly better than Deathfire Touch because it works with like individual spells, you know, because it has an inbuilt cooldown, but it's slightly stronger with individual spells. Uh, and then Absolute Focus, when you're above 70% health, you do extra damage. So this seems like a pretty standard page for, for Lee Sin. Uh, alternatively, you could go for... Wait... Now this is, alternatively, you could maybe get rid of Electrocute and go for a Predator if you wanted to. I could imagine that. I could That could work as well. Uh, now let's move on to the Elise page, which is this page actually. So this is the Elise page I would run. Basically exactly the same as Lee Sin, except Cheap Shot uh, instead of Sudden Impact. So you do more damage when you've stunned someone rather than when you're doing a Gap Closer, which makes sense, obviously, transitioning from Lee Sin to Elise. Uh, moving on to who's this one here? This one was my Javan page. So this is what I wasn't Javan. I really struggled to find a decent keystone for him, because right now, e even right now, it, it, you struggle to find a decent keystone on Jungle Javan. You just go Thunderlords because when in doubt, go Thunderlords. Right? He's an aggressive early game champion, or he can be. So just go Thunderlords. You get a bit of extra damage. It doesn't even match him perfectly, but what else are you going to take? Nothing else is very good on jungle Jarvan. Top lane Jarvan, you don't go Thunderlords because it's actually not that good on Jarvan in general. 
but you can get more use out of going grassy on dying or, or even further for battle if you want to but i went for predator on jungle java and i feel like like i say if you're going for just like ganks you can't go wrong with this one you get move speed jumping into a gank which is cool uh, and then you get extra damage when you, when you first jump into the gank. So you really can't go wrong with that. Everything else is... Cut. Sudden impact, I'm assuming that your EQ counts as a gap closer. But I mean, you could trade this out for whatever here. Again, I like the out of combat move speed. But preferential choices here, if you want the healing, you could go for that. Uh, now, this precision tree is what I went for in the secondary. I don't think these are very good secondaries in general. Um, but this one here, Triumph... Uh, like you don't have very good choices do not take any of these in my opinion these are awful but yeah most of these are awful to be honest but this triumph one takedowns which is a kills and assists restore 15 percent of your missing health and give you 25 extra gold now on most champions i'd say that that's like eh. it's okay but it's kind of eh. but on javan i think it's really good because you are an assist machine with your e now it kind of depends with, with your flag right it kind of depends uh, if there's like a grace period, if it's like within three seconds or something like that, maybe it's not as good. But in general, I think this is fine. And then any of these three could work as well. But this one is still up to 5% more damage to champions while below 80% health. So if you're not on full health, basically, if you've taken a few knocks, you're going to do extra damage. Seems fine to me for Jungle Jarvan. Moving on here. Now, uh, this was a secondary Jungle Jarvan page. And I was, like I was saying, I was kind of struggling. I'm not really sold on this one, but whatever. Um, glacial augment the slowing one so you jump in and you slow people seem pretty good honestly uh, in my opinion no, i don't like these greater runes though so this is what i'm not 100 percent sure on i mean uh, this hex flash i can't even say that flash traption is only good when your flash is on cooldown uh, and it essentially gives you creative gank pass with a blink over a wall However, Jungle Javan already has his EQ to jump over walls. I guess it means you can jump over them without having to EQ, but you know what I mean. Not 100% sold. Again, there's magical footwear, not sold on this one. And the Celestial Body, plus 100 permanent health at the cost of early champion damage. I actually think that's okay, it, but it's not ideal. 5% less damage in the like when you're ganking. Not great, but yeah. That's that's really a game of inches right there. If you if if that were to have a difference, you know, make make a difference. But again, it, it could make a difference, and you could swap it out for like some CDR or something like that if you wanted to instead. Uh, and then I went for the resolve here. So uh, the resolve tree because we could have this demolish and the second wind, which I think are pretty good on on Jarvan. I mean, you could go this on on the Lee Sin on the Elise as well, just because I feel like this demolish is bloody good. Uh, but again, it means once you gank a lane, you can then threaten the tower as well with demolish last one i'll show you here today guys this is a tank page now i really struggled here to find a proper tank one because like i say no courage of the colossus here uh so we just went with guardian which is the shield i don't even like doing that because it i mean do you really want that most most of the tank junglers like the sejuanis the zax the gragas they're pretty good gankers early honestly you don't really want to have something like this but yeah it's whatever honestly that's it's okay and it definitely scales nicely into the game. Uh, and then you have the, the Font of Life, which is like the Bond of Stone right now. Uh, after 10 minutes, you get tankier. And then you take you restore some of your health uh, when, you're, when you're taking damage. And then Sorcery here, 10% CDR. And uh, cooldown reduction on your ultimate. I feel that's pretty good. Most of these champions are quite ultimate reliant, so why not? Anyway, that's just kind of like my little rundown here. Quite a long video. Sorry, but there's a lot to take in, I guess. Hopefully you learned some things and you could get some information about how to play some of the junglers with these, with the new runes for Season 8. If you like the video, give me a cheeky thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more of the Legends content. It's goodbye from me. And it, oh gosh, Shad, what have you done here? Shad's on a mission to destroy my room, but here he is. So say goodbye to you guys. Say goodbye, Shaddy. No? Okay, well, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day, slash night, slash evening, whatever is where you're from. And I will see you in my next. You're going to wave goodbye, Shaddy? Waving goodbye, Shaddy? Hey. There you go. He's waving goodbye. I'll see you in my next.